Leaving SIRS with determination, so that's where you're going to get a termination refund. So this section's about leaving SIRS and then slash getting a, the refund of the contributions the member paid in, basically. It's, we call it a termination refund. So, leaving SIRS slash termination refund. When a member resigns or is discharged, dis dismissed, or laid off from the state employment, they may choose to withdraw their contributions or leave them in the SIRS and leave them in state employees' retirement systems. The, the member must be off payroll for at least 14 days to be eligible for a refund of their contributions. So, if a member leaves their contributions in, the SIS, in SIRS, uh, the member with at least eight years of service credit will be qualified for a monthly benefit upon reaching retirement age. That's a tier one. If it's a tier two, they need 10 years. So they can leave their money in the system, the contributions in the system for a pension that they're eligible for later on. Uh, if a member with at least one year of service credit, but less than eight years of SERS service credit may be eligible for a SERS monthly benefit upon reaching retirement age if they have service credit in another reciprocal system but the combined service credit under the reciprocal systems must meet their each system's minimum. Basically what they're saying, if they're tier one and they have five years with us and five years with the IMRF, you add those time to get, or excuse me, tier two, five years with us, five years with the IMRF, that's 10 years total. They're eligible for a pension from both systems one day due to the tier two rules. If they're tier one, it could be four years and four years or five and three. Either way, the eight years total between the two systems. So that's something you may not know at the agency, that's something they definitely you know, I'd have that that employer that member contact us to go over that information um, because if you're not vested in our system or vested with us in another system with using that time together then there's no reason to leave your, to leave your money in the system unless they think they're going to return to state service one day so if the member uh, has their contributions refunded the member will receive no interest on their contributions they will forfeit all rights to the future benefits now with that being said they can pay that money back if they did return later on to either us or a reciprocal system for at least two years then they could buy their time back that they took the refund on with us so this is the termination refund um this is that what the the form that will be sent to the agency if a member is reply applied for a termination refund um you'll fill a, fill this out to let us know um, what date they were separated did they resign discharge dismissal or layoff um, what final pay period is going to go through because we don't want to issue a refund if we still have payroll coming in because there may be more money we owe them and we don't want to pay them until they're, everything's in their, their account. Um, if dates in number two and number three do not match, explain because normally the date of separation is going to be before their last payroll if they're two weeks behind in pay like most agencies are. Um, do members' contributions remain outstanding to the, your agency as the separation date? So do they owe you money back? Did you overpay them for something? Uh, is there going to be a payroll reversal where you're taking back money that you paid them in an accident because they left and you overpaid them? Um, and then that's where you put in the information if there's a payroll reversal in the amount and then what pay period that will be on. Um, if you filed something, maybe they owe you more money for other reasons. You filed something at the comptroller's office. That's an involuntary withholding, and that's the information we'll need on that. And then the coordinator or authorized designee signature, that's what goes there because this may not just be the retirement coordinator. This could be one of those signature designees. Fill this out uh, and their information.